all revealed truly sincerely shocking military officers personnel behind the militancy going on in the southeast you will be shocked because in recent times my wonderful people the southeast anything that happens has been accredited and blamed on ipob ipob or the indigenous people of biafra now the quest and the cry for biafra became louder and stronger especially when this administration came in and nepotism injustice neglect you know and um, hateful position became the order of the day the south east has been seriously marginalized and neglected in the sphere of Nigerians politics and this is why the call for Biafra became louder and stronger please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe let's understand what is going on IPOB reveals names of military and militants officers commanders behind the killings in the southeast the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has published names of militants and commanders in the military terrorizing the people of the southeast region. There was con the, this was contained in a statement signed by the IPOB spokesman Imar Powerful on Tuesday. According to Powerful, the Union gunmen are members of the local Ebubuyago security team and self-acclaimed members of the Eastern Security Network, IPOB Militant Wing, whom the governors have put together and now using to terrorize the people. He listed their names as Chibuike Igwe, Paul Odunwo, Og Ogud Ogude, Dim, aka One Nigeria, Sky from Umuteze, or Oru and a man nicknamed Two Men from Oman, Umani. Others terrorizing Olu in Imo State include Chidi Agbondo Amogo Commander Chit Osita Odikema, the names are job broken, Uchenna Umwachuku Chibuzo Amago Iz Ziodu. Others. He further listed other personnel of Eastern security members in Olu who are also working with these persons and being used by the governors to, ter ter to terrorize the people, especially in Imo State. IPOB also placed a bounty on the head of the affirmed named persons, stating that the federal government should listen to IPOB. We are not criminals and we will not destroy our own father's land. The statement is declared wanted for elders people being used by the governors to terrorize the people, thereby releasing more military into the land where people should live peacefully and have a free lease of life. However, the governors use this in order to have political dominance in the area as a result of insecurity they feel within themselves and put the criminal, their criminal mindset and ideas on IPOB. IPOB is not an agent for destruction. All we are asking for is equality, fairness, and justice. We have never gone against any government figure or anything that would destroy lives and property. All the propaganda has been paraded on IPOB. It's not a true statement. Well, my wonderful people, this is the new um, order of the day. IPOB is coming out to say we don't understand exactly what is going on in the Southeast. We just know that some persons are bred, are branded us, you know, the group who is causing all the troubles in the South is. But sadly, this is not our disposition. This is not who we are. This is not who we are. You know, if you listen very closely, if you, because when, it, when, when, when somebody is troubled, one of the things you must do is listen, listen in the midst of the shout, try to find out what the problem is. Otherwise you will get into it and you get wrapped up in it. Yes. You get into a gear wrapped up in it and you begin to, when somebody comes in, you are one of the persons they are trying to understand what is going on. And funny enough, when you are truly asked, you will not find a word because you don't even know what is going on. The first point of call is you calm down, be different, understand the problem. Understanding brings about, you know, a, a position where people can truly, you know, 
come together and begin to deliberate and bring about some on you know some some you know increase and ch change in the whole scheme of things you don't understand what is going on and then you just delve into it you make a lot of mistakes yeah you do you make a lot of mistakes you know the ipob is saying we just want these people to listen we will not destroy i mean i mean, I mean on a more serious note a real son okay may be angry may not be happy with the circumstances or scenarios or things that are going on. But for you to destroy your father's house, you're not longer a son, you're a bastard. Because you're destroying your own property. Invariably, you're destroying you. You're destroying the very essence of what makes you you. How can you go ahead, use your own hand to destroy yourself, destroy your property? Now, that's a mental case. When people go into self-arm and the rest, it's, it's a mental case. In the hospital, they are admitted into the psychiatric world because it is not normal for you to take, when people go into self-harm, is a state of deep depression, is a state of, you know, uncertainty, self-worth is totally zeroed. I mean, there is so, I mean, lots of things have gone wrong, bottom line. They need desperately help. So when such things begin to happen, the first and foremost thing to begin to question and to look at is the sanity of the very people you are looking at and you are calling leaders. Who are these people? Again, we remember very closely in no distance time ago when the atmosphere was tensed up between um, Hope and uh, Roger Shokorocha to the extent that they were going on one another and exposing one another. In fact, I'm reporting a speech. This is Roger Shokorocha's um, words. Accusing hope of, you know, the death of a particular northerner who came into Imo state and it was blamed on IPOB. Roger Shokorocha said it was the act of hope. Do you know the government did not go on that lane to investigate because they commit murder and so they don't even bother if anybody does it. If it's one of them, it's okay. So long as it's blamed on somebody else, that's fine. You know, so where truth and justice is eroded. The, 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 the defendless are the ones who suffer. This is a situation in a nation where people have totally neglected the final po point of who we truly are. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.